All right, everyone, we are back. Episode six. Now, actually, I, uh, yeah, I was doing a little off camera stuff because I didn't want to bore you guys to death with, uh, chopping down a bunch of trees to make money. And I got a little carried away and forgot to roll while I sold all the trees for wood and then bought messy. Where I sold the trees for the money then bought the messy crystals, and then bought this crystalline bell. So we have the bell now. And I've got this crystal here, so I'm going to see what happens. Seemingly nothing like that. Okay, a right click doesn't do anything on it. Left click will repeat. I didn't even know you could left click. Whoa! Well, yeah, higher than obviously doing that. Okay, I really don't know. Don't know what to expect from this. As I mentioned before, it's it's a mod I have zero experience with. But I I guess I might just have to sit to grow or something. I don't know. Nothing at all, and Lillian, what are they doing? Not that it makes any difference. Okay, what were we going to do? We were going to build a fence. I think I need sticks for that. Yep, just a bunch of sticks. It can be confusing with fences, because currently there are, depending on which version of Mind Test game you're running, there's like three or four different recipes for fences. Like this is an older version where the fences don't connect to wood. If they were using a newer version, the fences would actually put a little piece out that would join to the wood of the house. And uh, it uses a different craft recipe, I believe. Pretty sure you're actually using some planks and sticks. I don't know how many I need, so I'm going just to do three three in each it'll give me six fence pieces which i think will be enough close enough if you fall there you're only falling into the garden it'll keep you on land so that's good i wish i knew what i was doing here that's weird so the selection box is smaller, but I can't jump up and move on to it. It has a larger collision box than it does selection box. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I guess there's no reason why it can't. Let's see. What are we going to do? Got the fence. So that's good. I may just chop some more wood here. Um, I kind of think I'm going to do a little bit of building stuff. So, and I probably won't go too crazy. Because it can be boring. But just to show you guys some ideas. Nine pieces. I'll get me three corners. So that should be okay. Uh, we're going to use shift and jump. It's a bug slash feature. Slash at this point. I don't think anybody really knows what it is anymore. But it lets you jump up two nodes, basically, is what it does. Quite honestly, it's a bug. And it should be fixed. But nobody wants to do it because, you know, it's, it's, people expect it. So if you take it out, people are going to complain that it's broken. Though I think, honestly, there is an option in the configuration we can actually turn that off so people can't use it. Alright, but, let's see here. I mean, it's not a big change, but it's immediately, immediately noticeable. And it just makes things look a little more finished. And I could get a whole bunch more wood and do that a bunch more, but I don't know. I'm also very confused as to why this wheat hasn't grown at all. Like, it legitimately is still the same size it was when I planted it. So... I 
I don't know. I'm not sure why those aren't growing. All right, well, I'm gonna grab some more wood. Which is not showing, so how many I have? Five? Takes three for a corner. I think I got two, three more corners I wanna do. So obviously, that means I need 12. So extras won't hurt at all, because I should really put a rough on at some point. Now I could, I could build the nice way, and honestly, if this were something that I was going to be using for more than just this little short 10-piece series here, I would end up doing this. But because it's something that's only going to be a short term, I'm not going to spend the time. But what I would normally do is run a whole perimeter around the top in a different style of wood just to make it look a little nicer but like I said for something that I'm not planning on playing on long term I, I not that the server is not good or anything like that because aside from a few leg issues I haven't had any problems and I mean none of this is pro oh I do want to cover that none of this is protected and I've had zero issues, I think mainly because it it is so far away from the beaten path. I mean, I went out a pretty good distance just to make sure people wouldn't stumble upon this. So there we go. I could do the inside corners too, but from the outside you can't really see them. Well, other than from the windows. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it. No, no I won't. Because I want to buy some of those protector blocks. Now this is something I have no experience with. So we'll see how this goes. I want to sell the wood. What little I have. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I hope so. Five cash gives me one protector block. Well, I'm going to get two protector blocks and hope that's enough then. Like I said, I have no idea how these work, so I don't know if I need multiples. Okay, I'm in my house now. We have a protector block. And, you know, I'm going to... Okay, I was going to dig a hole, but I guess I can't dig if I'm holding that. Protection, owned by me. Punch note to show protected area or use you or use for air check numbers. Type player name and then press enter to add. Oh, that's for that's if I want to add somebody else to the area. Um wait there we go. Oh wow, that's That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I can probably. Where's my jungle wood? I can throw that someplace a little more. A little more central. In fact, I could use it as part of the roof or something for all matters. Let's see here. I guess. There. And you know what? I'm just going to be perfectly centered. Um, and I'll probably have to do. Let's try one here. Yeah, okay. Do I have to punch it? There we go. Goes through that wall. Didn't catch if it was. Okay, it just makes that go to the inside there. Okay. I'm sure there's just a size that I should really know offhand here. Whoa. Okay, so we want to do two more to there. And we'll put them all there. And then we're going to put one more here, I think. Which that goes, it still misses this wall, but that's okay. 
and then here that gets me to everything outside misses some wall here so I guess I could get a third one and put it about middle there oh no I don't want to I was not trying to add something I was trying to build around it just to put a roof up here yay area is protected of course these videos are all going to be recorded well in advance of any of them being published. So, even if you guys do figure out where I was playing here, it's not going to matter because I'm going to be done playing. And any griefing you try to do, uh, I'm really not going to care about because I will not be on the server. Unless something comes up and I, I need to. Like, I have to come on here and pull out my stuff that I built, because it's messing up the world. But, I would feel like any admin could just override that. I would imagine. Okay, why is this stuff not picking up? It's all digging just fine. Hmm. Well, I'm confused now, especially because it only shows I have three papyrus, and I have dug definitely more than three papyrus. So let's see, we got some leg introduced here. It's not let me pick my things up. It's not let me dig my things. Okay, well, I don't know what exactly is going on. So what we're gonna do is just call this an episode, and then pick back up in the same spot in episode seven so stay tuned thanks for watching my video really hope you enjoyed it if you did would you consider giving it a thumbs up i appreciate all those i can get i'm on social media peoples follow me google plus twitter facebook i always post all of my videos on those platforms or links to my videos on those platforms as soon as they go live which this means prior to the release on youtube you can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request Review button right there. It takes a two-form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. A look at it, record a review, post it online, you watch, we all profit, the world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but hey, do it anyways, There's you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.